Welcome, welcome everyone to the Best Damn Podcast. I am your host, John Keane. As always, I would like to thank you guys for joining me. Um, please check us out, thebestdampodcast.tv. Follow me, Instagram, Best Damn Podcast, Twitter, The Real Best Damn, and wherever you're watching from, make sure to subscribe, follow, hit the like, leave a comment, let me know what you think, and share this link, help me to get it out there. Guys in the chat too, uh, just let me know if you guys can hear me, and you can see me all right. Uh, before I go ahead and get started, just make sure you guys can hear me fine, and you can see me, and everything's good uh, as far as all that goes. Uh, I had a really cool discovery today, a really cool discovery, and I just got my channel back, by the way, if you guys haven't noticed, we just got, uh, Best in Podcast Official, thank you, bro, and BDP2 back, so, uh, everybody, if you would, uh, if you're a follower of the channel, you know, you like the content and all of that, please donate, support, help me out. Um, we haven't had the main income for a week or two. So, you know, if you guys could help every little bit counts, I greatly appreciate it. The donate links are in the description box below. Now, uh, tonight at 1030 PM, I'll be doing an all signs tarot reading. I'll be going through all the 12 signs and doing a little bit of the collective. And I'll actually be able to do it a little bit better this time because I'll be able to come from the main channels. So that's something to look out for tonight as well. Uh, also, I have private content uploaded over on Patreon, and now it'll be posted to the YouTube channel memberships today as well. Uh, it was only the feature was only unlocked again today because obviously I didn't have the channels. Now, uh, what I want to talk about, and this is a really strange concept, but I find it incredibly fascinating, especially considering some of the things that I've recently been going through myself. Uh, now, just to kind of give you a little bit of a background, um, over the years of doing YouTube and creating content and just messing around in the spiritual community as a whole, I've experienced numerous uh, spiritual attacks, like so many that, you know, I can't even count. It's, it's that many. It's, it's ridiculous how many times I've been attacked spiritually, hexed, experienced all different forms of witchcraft and you name it, right? And I know a lot of you as well, because there is a effort right now, essentially to, to prevent ascension, ascension prevention, right? They're trying to stop people from collectively and consciously expanding and growing as a whole. They don't want us to transcend and transfigure the current reality that we're in. And knowledge is becoming, uh, it's increased so much that we're able to soak that stuff in at an exponential rate now. And we're just kind of all sponging off of each other and all the things that we're learning spiritually and collectively. And it's spreading like wildfire. You know, most of the population now has accumulated at least an acute sense of spiritual awareness, if not, you know, a large magnitude of awareness. So what I was learning today, and I actually seen this, that there are studies pertaining to energy, right? And we just had recent uh, geomagnetic storms over the last day or two. Massive coronal mass ejections where plasma blows out of the sun. You know, we get these big bursts of cosmic rays and cosmic energy and radiation. You know, it hits the magnetic field, which is in an already weakened state and in flux, and then essentially beams down to the earth. And our electromagnetic bodies absorb this. And because we're electrical, our consciousness is energetic and electrical. It has a, a direct effect on our spiritual awareness and on our conscious state. So now, since around 2020, the sun has been in a minimum state, right? We've seen it in a solar minimum. And from what I've learned is when it's in a solar minimum, the ions that are actually uh, disseminated from a CME, from you know a mass ejection, are actually more negatively charged ions. They're more akin to negative energy, uh, neutron energy, or darkness, and they feed into what we would call parasitic energies, right? So these energies are dark, negative energies. And they come during the time 
or are most prominent during the time that the sun is in a solar minimum. So this makes it far easier for the powers that be, for people that have a grudge against you, um, for really essentially anybody that works with energy or practices the occult or witchcraft of any way, shape, or form or facet to uh, use those manipulations of energy for fear, uh, trauma, basically anything that feeds off of negativity, what we would call parasitic energy. Well, here recently, the sun has shifted more into a maximum state. That's what's been generating the geomagnetic storms. And I guess supposedly this last Friday, the energy was so charged that it was enough to actually shift the dynamic of the way that the energy comes off of the sun to more of a positive polarity, which in essence is, you know, will will disrupt or destroy uh any parasitic curses or any parasitic spells, any types of things that are really kind of blocking your uh, abundance, blocking your love life, um, blocking your spiritual progression. All of these type of things, all these type of works are uh, destroyed by this positive energy. So this is more of a time for us to start invoking uh, what we would call Christ energy um, or light consciousness, positive consciousness. Now, because there is this effort to really stop ascension and really keep all of us from from growing, and uh, as we grow, we have the ability to control our reality better. We have the ability to manifest the things that we want more, uh, i.e. success, recognition, wealth, love, all of the things, abundance, happiness, joy. All of the things in life that are really good and that actually feed our spirit, feed our being, and allow us to expand and grow at an even faster rate, to ascend at a faster rate. So there has been a concerted effort over the last couple of years, especially during the time of the pandemic, right, to play off of this minimum, play off of these negative energies and slow down the progression of the collective. That's why we've seen, and, I, and I've talked about this over the years quite a bit. Not only do I do videos on cosmic cycles all the time, um, you know, I've talked about how we experience highs and we experience lulls, right, in, in states of consciousness. And I myself will notice this. Like I always use myself as an example, but I myself will notice it. Like uh, there'll be a couple of months out of the year where I'm just, I'm fucking flying high, man. Like a uh, good creative, intuitive things are coming to me. I'm working my ass off. I'm doing everything I need to do, you know, getting my ducks in, in a row in life. And then all of a sudden it's like, you'll take a fucking nosedive and almost become lethargic or disinterested, or you get um, easily distracted. And a lot of the distractions come through the realm of of lower vibratory things as well. Uh, We can get caught up back into addictions, um, whether it be like sex addictions, drug addictions, alcohol, gambling, anything like that, that will essentially take you off of your course, take you out of alignment Right. And take you away from the, your, your purpose of your highest calling. Right. And during these low periods of times, I've noticed that, like, why does this, you know, come and go this flow? And there has been direct connections and correlations to the activity of our sun. So this is something new, totally new. I've always been into space weather. I've always been into astrology and the celestial alignments and how they directly affect us as individuals. Right. Uh, you know, I talk about, you know, our natal charts and all that being the algorithm, essentially, of who we are within the matrix, within the system, and then being able to kind of um, not only uh, help elaborate on the depths or the mysteries of each of us as individuals, but to even give us sort of a predictive power on what energies we'll work with better, you know, what types of people we work with better, what types of situations will favor us, right? This is what astrology and all that is all about. Um, But it kind of takes it to a new level when you incorporate the science of it, 
right? The space weather, which is essentially the magnetics, uh, positive and negative ions, and uh, in itself a form of alchemy and metaphysics, right? And you're able to then see off of the way that the sun is projecting, whether it's maximum type of energy or minimum type of energy, what type of ions are going to be charged and i wonder if we can look at things like the kp index and all of that and see where they actually fall in these graphs right all of this um these cosmic rays and particles that are coming at us and even be able to utilize them for whenever we practice our own ritual or we say our own prayers of positivity of wealth of health of happiness of healing of all of the abundant things in life if they are using these powers and manipulating these powers to hold you back, and this is, I'm a firm believer in this, um, you know, you, you see that the, the U.S. government and all of our technology is allegedly reverse engineered alien technology, right? Well, why wouldn't we, as the people that essentially are oppressed, why wouldn't we reverse engineer the occult technology that is used by the transhumanist agenda to keep us from growing, to keep us from elevating for our own benefit and uh, essentially use it to to spread consciousness, to spread awareness around the world and amplify signals of healing, amplify signals of wholeness, amplify signals of balance, amplify signals of unity and togetherness and strength and courage and all of the beautiful things. Um, that each and every one of us need within our lives to help us grow, to help us stay in alignment, and to help us just be happy, productive, spiritual human beings. You know? Um, I love you, brother. Thank you for all the years you've dedicated your love and yourself, your family and real friend from Germany. Hey, man, I, I love you too. And I am, I'm, so, I'm so grateful. I can't tell you um, just how grateful I am who have even had this experience at all uh i went through a rough patch here recently a really rough patch and i go through them frequently guys like i said i go through the the highs and lows uh of the cycles right i i, I go through the cycles just like everybody else and matter of fact i'm such an extreme eccentric person that i always um you know go more towards the extreme polarities of things so when you know, it's high highs and low lows for me, you know, and I don't know if you guys are that way too. If you kind of have gotten to the place to where you're able to ride the wave and stay somewhere in the middle, you know, and I, and I've been in times where, where I'm more, where I'm more capable of doing that, where, you know, I can see the wave coming and I can almost brace for impact and kind of ride things through and make um, my course a little smoother. And I think that that, that that's helped by being in alignment. If we're in alignment, eating a healthy diet, um, working on our mental health, working on our emotional health, right? And our, you know, kind of our deep uh, shadow work, if you will. And, um, you know, we're working on our, physic, our physical selves as well as constantly trying to seek growth, expansion, learning and all the good positive things in life i feel like we're we're far more capable of you know smoothing out you know the bumps in the road whenever we do hit these high states and these low states but you know as i've learned to kind of uh, mass frequency or, or ride the wave essentially right it hasn't been that easy i you know i went really high at times or really low at times and here recently I've been under heavy, heavy spiritual attack, and I know I'm not the only one, right? So I know if it's happening to me, then it's happening to you and probably, uh, you know, however many thousand, uh, you know, others, right? Because that's how it works. They have got, they've got technology that is able to read the frequency of a human being, uh, essentially the auric field of a human being, and, uh, our auric fields, our auras, our energetic fields can get clogged up with these negatively charged parasites. And that's what makes for dark spell work and shit to, to be far more effective against you. So this is the time right now for all of us to do major cleansing, 
right? If you have any type of cleansing work that, that you're into, um, cleansing rituals, healing rituals, and don't get caught up on the word ritual with your indoctrinated ass. I don't even want to hear all that. We should be so far past that. It's not funny. But, you know, we should be doing uh, different work with our auric field and trying to uh, cleanse out because we have the energy available to us right now. The positive energy, uh, the sun energy, the Christ energy is available right now for all of us to really make a big leap in healing uh, and really take in all of the information that comes on the back of that energy. See, I'm also a firm believer that the Akashic Record is nothing more than than cosmic rays. It's cellular information within, uh, you know, the, the magnetic field or uh, radiation that comes off of the sun. I feel like information, ones and zeros, binary code comes in positive and negative ions as well. Right. So when we have these major blasts from the sun, you'll notice the Schumann resonance, which is the human resonance, right, directly uh, connects to human consciousness. It'll have these incredible spikes and shit as well. Right. So when we see these major spikes or bursts in the Schumann resonance, they always are directly connected to solar activity. Right. The solar activity in a maximum state, blasting off positive ions, affecting the field, sending down different forms of radiation that affect human consciousness, expect, affect our spirit, affect our physical health. And it brings in information. It brings in an opportunity to learn, an opportunity to grow and an opportunity to heal. But the same is always true for the inverse. Right. Whenever it is in that minimum, that lower state, and uh, we're getting less frequency of activity, you know, we're getting more apt to get our auras clogged up with the dark, negative, yucky shit that essentially is parasitic, and it feeds off of fear, it feeds off of shame, it feeds off of guilt, it feeds off of hurt. Right. And it's all about confusion, deception, illusion. And basically everything you don't want in your fucking life, you know? So, Akashic is a DNA imprint. Well, yeah, I, I believe our genetics, our genetic code, you know, it's a composition of those, uh, po you know, those, those cellular algorithms as well that are a composite of frequency, um, comparable to our spirit or our aura i've talked about this a lot i believe that's what makes uh the astral cord connect your spirit to your genetics your body right it's based on your genetic code but your genetic code contains everything every living being every plant every animal every everything man um i don't care you know what it is if it's on the periodic table it's in there so our genetics also mutate and alter due to radiation, right? So radiation has a massive effect on the mutation of our, our cellular structure and of our DNA, our genetics. So if that's what's altering us and causing transfiguration, and we know it is because if we look into catastrophism, and I'm huge on this, I do nothing but cover catastrophic cycles for a fucking reason. The shit's real, right? It's really how it works. Um, big bang and all, right? It ends in a blast and death and rebirth is the name of the game. That's the cycle of Kronos. That is this matrix. Um, but those uh, genetics are altered and mutated by the radiation and the extremities when we're seeing all of the pressure on the magnetic field. The magnetic field, in essence, in my opinion, is the veil. That's the veil of forgetfulness. That's what the veil of illusion is, the magnetic field. And as it fluctuates and is affected by solar activity, different forms of radiation come in that radiation affects our genetics our dna causes mutation and you know based on how we're chemically made up right that's what decides who evolves who thrives and who dies right and goes on to the next cycle and because we're electrical beings right there is electrical information in those positive and negative ions as well that affect 
the way the circuitry in our brain, our nervous system, and our bodies work as well. So we're able to receive downloads far easier. So if you're ever wondering, like, why you get way more downloads at a certain time, or why you have way more energy at a certain time, or why you feel like shit at a certain time, I guarantee if you check the, the Schumann Resonance, you'll see the uh, imprint there, and I guarantee if you check the solar activity in the CMEs, you'll see the imprint there, and then you'll see it as well in the magnetic flux of the field, and then that's how you can take and show people and say, look, this isn't fucking pseudoscience, homeboy. This shit's more legit than anything that has ever been brought before man in the history of time. Right? We can take religion, history, theosophy, theology, mathematics, science, space weather. We can take the whole fucking phenomenon and we can wrap it in a burrito and we can put it together and say, eat this shit because it's backing it all up. It all is self-evident and supports itself. And that's how you know it's the fucking truth because the truth stands on its own, right? It stands on its own. I don't have to sit here and convince you about what works and what doesn't. All the evidence is going to support itself. And we're using the standard models, right? From academia and from, from all these asshats, you know, in the government, uh, and, and we're using their technology to prove our theories and say, okay, well, you know, if we're so wrong, then why the fuck are we so right? You know, and why do we have to be silenced? Why, why do we have to be attacked? And, you know, if there's conscious free will here, those who want to ride the, the, the gravy train of transhumanists, you know, by all means, bro, be my guest. I'm not trying to stop you from doing what you do. But why there's an effort to stop us from flowing with the sun, you know, I don't know. You know, that, that's that remains to be seen. I, I believe that not only do people fear the unknown, they fear what they don't understand. They know, guys, the 144,000, the elect, the remnant, we are the children of the sun. Like, that's who we are. We're the children of the light, the illuminated. Uh, we, we may as well, you know, just face the fact that we are probably fallen angels. And if we are not, then the fallen angels are our daddies. You know, so either way, no matter how you chop it up, you know, we are divine beings with extreme divine powers and divine gifts. And whenever you're in a high state of consciousness, and I shit you not, not only do you have abilities like telepathy and the ability to communicate in subconscious ways and be aware of the subconscious communication and others be aware and be able to perceive the subconscious communication, but you also have the ability to strip down any other consciousness that it's at an energetic frequency lower than your own. And that takes away the ability from people to deceive you. That takes away the ability for people to lie to you. And it keeps you from aging. It gives you strength. It gives you energy. I mean, you will live longer and be a far happier, healthier, more prosperous being as a result. And that's the secret sauce right there. That's the mystery and, and the magic right there is that, you know, it's our son that gives us the energy. That's why they wanted to, to bust Akhenaten's head because he was telling them about the Aten, the sun disc, the same shit I'm talking to you about today. You know, they want to try to break it down into paganism because paganism is just different archetypes or aspects of looking at one source energy, right? And they want to take it into religion through monotheism and give you a, you know, a patriarchal system that doesn't acknowledge the feminine aspects or intuitive creative aspects of anything because they want you to be, you know, one eye open. But the truth is, it's all of the above. It's masculine, it's feminine, it's light, it's dark, it's positive, it's negative. It is many gods, but the many gods are just aspects of one source, one energy. You are that source, you are that energy, you are the angels, you are the demons, you are 
all of it, right? And the golden ratio and and uh, the Fibonacci sequence and all this proves that not only is that spiral found in your ass, it's found in a fucking rock, right? So you're just as much the rock as you are me talking right now. That's and it, it's proven within your genetic composition. You have it all inside of you. You, in essence, are a fragment, a fractal of God. You know, and once we and we know too that we're close to the end of the cycle, because at the end of the cycle, this always happens. Consciousness increases. That's why we have, um, you know, wrote down all of the symbolism on the pyramids and, you know, and ball back and all of this, because we discover this every time before we get wiped out. So we write it down that way when it comes again, we'll remember which is putting the body back together, remembering, putting the body back together of human consciousness and get ready for the next stage. Get ready for, you know, the, the brace of the end of the age because it's a challenging time. It's where the veil is gone. The magnetic field is almost gone. It reverses and karma is instant. Manifestation is instant. And in order for you to survive, you have to have your heart right, your mind connected to your heart, making the two become one. You can't ignore your ego or your carnal or your shadow side, or it's going to devour you. And you can't ignore your spirit side, your your essence, your aura, or it's going to devour you. You have to be a mastery of all, right? Because you're a total divine being. And if you remember that, then there's nothing you can't transcend, nothing you can't get through. My friend, not only will you walk on water, you'll moonwalk on that fucking shit. And, and uh, as they're hiding in caves and mountains and trying to start wars and getting us all to have conflicts for our differences, we'll be embracing them, embracing our differences, and partying in the fucking streets because we know that we've already won. So... I, I, I <laughs> well, thank you. Um, I'm not trying to preach, but I just I am passionate about the truth. I'm passionate about people, and I'm passionate about the, my theories and the things that I've taught for years. And I feel like now is the time to share all of this because knowledge is increasing. The mysteries of God are being revealed. That means the time is now, and that we only have a certain amount of time for those two witnesses, which is higher and lower self, right? Light and dark side, those two witnesses to prophesy essentially according to the Bible, right? Which is what we're doing now. We're, we're revealing that truth. You know, right now we only have a certain amount of time before all we know changes and our world changes uh, and is never the same. So when they say there's a new normal, they're, they're not shitting you. There is a new normal, but it's a new reality, a new paradigm, right? And it all depends on how you are able to deal with the energies and understand the inner workings that will determine whether you see the light at the end of the tunnel and make it to the other side or not. So thank you so much, guys, uh, for watching. Um, like I said, 10.30 p.m. I'll be doing all signs, collective tarot readings. I'll go through all 12 signs. Uh, you know, I just got my channels back. I haven't had them for like a week or so. This is my main income. So if you get something, I'm, I'm trying to pour out my energy to you. So if you get, you know, good energy for me and you appreciate what I do, I uh, definitely need the support. And, um, you know, please donate to me and help me out. Even a little bit would, would help, and I'd appreciate it. So make sure to hit the thumbs up to share this link, subscribe, and follow. And I will see you guys a little bit later on. Yeah, thank you. Donate, guys. I would appreciate it, guys. Like I said, they shut my channels down for the last couple of weeks. And they're doing this because they know I'm, I'm about to bring the fucking heat to you guys. Every day, uh, every video, I've got downloads like you wouldn't believe. So it's coming. Either way, I don't care if I got to start new channels. I'll do it. So, all right, guys. Remember, Jesus is the truth, the way, and the life. God bless you all. I love you, and I'll see you next time.